Hi brothers and sisters, welcome to the channel. I just want to share with you an amazing, amazing dream I woke up from. Uh, I woke up from this amazing dream and when I woke up, the words that came out of my mouth and that persistently were playing in my head were the magnitude of what God is doing, the magnitude of what God is about to do and I couldn't finish it. The magnitude was so big and it is so big that I just couldn't find the right word. The magnitude was so, I couldn't find big is not big enough. That's what I'm, I, I, I'm trying to get to. I, I was just sweeping and replaying this dream in, in, my, in my head. And it's like I could hear my little brother saying, what God is, is getting ready to do, uh, the magnitude of what God is about to do is insane. Those are the words that, that, that came into my mind. And, and I laughed because that's the lingo they use. He would have said, what God is about to do is insane. Meaning, it's, it's, you can't fathom it. It's, 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 it, it's mind blowing. It's, it's like people will think you need to be taken to the insanity or the psychiatric ward if you said that this is what God is about to do. Anyway, let me just uh, share the dream with you, my brother and sister. And I want you to notice the patterns, the reoccurring things in this dream before I even get to address them towards the end. Uh, so, so what happened is that in this dream, I was outside my parents' compound it's like I was outside the yard with multitudes of people, but looking at this house. This house, I know my parents' house, but this house was my parents' house, but it was bigger. It's what, it's like my parents' house, but it had wings, multi, multiple wings on either side. It had been extended. And um, there were a lot of people in the yard. So we, I'm outside, completely outside, standing outside with other people. The gates were closed because there were a lot of people already in, as if there was full capacity, but there were still people outside waiting and wanting to go into the compound. And one thing that stood out in that dream was that I remember seeing a man who was in the compound um, over the gate giving somebody food. So as much as people, some people couldn't get in because it was already full capacity, there was people giving those across the gate, outside the yard, food. And it was, and I'm going to specifically say this, the man who was giving food on the other side, as much as there was, it, it was a white man giving a, a black person food. And I'm saying this to, to, to just show you that it was people of different races. Um, it, it, race was not a, a, a boundary. It was people uh, of, of, of different, like it was just different people in this dream. All right, so I, I'm busy witnessing this outside with other people, uh, just admiring the scene. And then the next scene, um, there is a lot of us in, uh, in a row. Initially, I, I, it was like, we, I'm now in the compound and it, it's kids, primary school age kind of kids. We are in rows and rows, there's multitudes of rows, but um, think of sports day. Sports day, people usually wear the color of the, 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 the house, um, sports house they represent. And you know, there's a point where uh, kids are marching around, whether it be to the field in rows. It, that was the, the scene. And, and, and I'm noticing that this is kids uh, of different ages uh, in rows. But somehow, uh, as much as this started in our backyard, we were then at a school. And in this dream, it's like my family owned the school and there were a lot of kids but the the most interesting thing is that when i went to pass by reception i was talking to the ladies at the reception friendly ladies and the interaction we had 
was of it's the first day this was a new school it was a new school and it was a, the first day and it was packed with lots and lots and lots of kids of different ages all right so i walked around the school and at some point i was leaving and then the next scene um it's night time and i am standing at in, in this dream it was a kfc chicken franchise and it, and and in this dream my family owned it and again it was night time and uh, one thing that stood out was that um it was the day before the opening and i was standing along the road well outside the the, the kfc and there was a road and i noticed that right across the road was another kfc so it's like they were at a corner like at an a, a t junction but there was another one replica across the road so i thought isn't this a bad location to have the same franchise i mean what are the chances of succeeding then i noticed that the road was such that you could only go to one if you are going in a certain direction so if if you're going in a certain direction it forces you to offer up into this one if you're going to the other to another direction it forces you to offer up into that into another direction so when i noticed that about the road that the middle part was was closed off that it, it, it you know at some time i don't know if you guys ever see petrol stations uh across the road from each other especially in busy high um is it not highways in busy roads um they will be opposite each other but it's because the road is such that you can't cross over or turn to to, to go and fill up on the other one if you are going in this direction it forces you to use this one if you're going in the opposite direction it forces you to use the other one anyway that 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 was part of the dream okay fine so it's the night before opening the next day of opening i remember i was with my mother and sister we were gonna go pass by just to check on the ladies and the staff um uh, on opening i was not expecting for there to be people because i guess the previous night i had already um concluded that there won't be much business so we were walking it's like i was outside us watching the three of us walking dressed well uh, to this business uh, to, 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 to the uh, establishment and we got out of the car we were walking and then we turned a corner as we turned a corner outside i saw rows and rows and rows of people and um i was very surprised i'm like wow it's crazy it's packed that people are even waiting to go in i then get into the establishment and i notice that every seat is filled but not every, only is every seat seat filled it, it's everybody had a plate of food but on each plate there was mountains of, of of chicken there was mountains of food so in my mind i'm thinking one wow the place is filled not only inside and outside number two um everybody sitting has so much food that gonna take a long time to finish but the place had glass window uh, glass um, walls so the people inside could see as much as they were waiting outside to go in meaning they're waiting for a seat to became to become vacant they could see how much food each person had but they were willing to wait even though there was a competitor or a similar establishment just across the road i then remember giving my sister uh, no 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 i gave my mom my bag and i said to my sister give mama the bag you go 
to that direction i'll go the opposite direction go to every customer and just ask them how they are doing you know when you go to in a restaurant you have say the manager coming to just check on you are you happy is the food good and so so the dream ended at that moment where we were uh, gonna go to, to to every customer in different directions to ask them how they are doing and they enjoying their meal is the place to their expectation that's when I woke up. My brother and sister, you know, I woke up from this dream and I just felt like the magnitude of what God is doing. The magnitude of what God is doing. And like I said, what my brother would say is, it's insane. And I just want to say, you know, what God is doing it's going to be generational. You see, most times as people, I've once said to, 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 on the channel here that never think it can happen to you. Um, most times, I, I don't know about you, I like watching documentaries, how people got to be where they are. And, you know, guys, nobody was born. And or let me not say nobody let me just say a lot of people that whether it be uh, you, you wear their clothes you eat at their franchise kfc for example th these people were not born into wealth these people uh, became their families are now known but it started with somebody it started with somebody and, and most times we're gonna hear and have dreams like this and we will not claim them we will not uh, tap into them because we think wow there was a dream there was a beautiful dream it's like a fantasy it was it's something that cannot be attained but my my brother and sister th this is exactly how the Lord starts to do it he gets to reveal to you the things that are, are meant for you in the spirit world he gets to show you the the the, 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 the things that have been released for you and your loved ones in the spirit world and you then get to tap into them in, in the earthly plane. You can sit there and say that was a beautiful dream, but or you can you can sit there and realize that you will be the one who lineages after you, generations after you will get to say my grandfather, my great grandmother uh, had a dream, and this is what God did, and as such. This is why our family name is like this. My great grand uh, uncle um, had a dream and, and this is what happened. And, and he tapped into that and he fasted and prayed. And this is what God released to us. And this is the inheritance we have. And uh, I just wanna also touch on to the fact that in this dream, I there were multitudes of people. There was an exchange of food. What God had brought was there was always an abundance there was always an overflow and also um uh, on top of that everything was new i said it was our house but it, it was it was bigger it was it had wings it was new um it, there was a school it was new there was a restaurant it was new but in all these places it was filled to capacity there was exceedingly and abundantly more than the places themselves could accommodate god was doing a new thing but he had supplied the, the resources and and, and the, the feet to sustain those places in the mighty name of Jesus. Not only was God doing a new thing, it was a generational thing in the mighty name of Jesus. So my brother and sister, I don't want you to sit there and say, wow, I want you to know that it can happen to you. It will happen to you. You are the generational curse breaker. You are the one who is going to set a precedence. You are the one who is going to carry the legacy of your, your surname, your name, Name, your family name and because of you it's going to transcend and it will be known by multitudes why because you carried the dream that God uh, uh, implanted in you and you birthed it in the mighty name of Jesus tap into this word tap into this word and believe that what God is going to do with you and is doing with you is generational in the mighty name of Jesus I say all these things amen and 